three statements and two conclusions so what are the statements all blue are brown all black are bags some brown are not bags i think the first challenge i have here is every word starts with b and that makes it a little difficult when you are drawing the venn diagram right see every element starts with b blue brown black bags all four of them are with b so let's use the right codes first so that we don't get confused i think blue will take it as bu brown is br this is bg and let's take black as bl okay now draw the basic diagram for uh, the given statements first statement all blue are brown all blue are brown all blue are brown so all blue are brown right all blue are brown all black are bags now the challenge here is we have we have drawn a venn diagram which has got blue and brown but we have not, neither got blacks nor have we got bags so drawing the second statement immediately would be would, would not be possible so let's jump to the third one because third one has got brown you see and already brown has been brought into picture so some brown are not bags some brown are not bags now how do you draw this some brown are not bags some brown are not bags bags is bg right some brown are not bags remember some brown are not bags is a some not type of statement right some not some brown are not bags some brown are not bags for some a's are b's and some a's are not b's the diagram remains the same but the you know but the region that we refer to is different like here when we say some brown are not bags we are referring to the external region of brown which is not overlapping with bags as i'm sure all of you have learned this through the videos as well right some brown are not bags brown and bags whether some brown are bags or some brown are not bags the diagram is same but because we are talking about some brown or not bags we are referring to the exterior region here right so i think we have drawn one we have drawn three now draw two what is statement two all black are bags all black are bags all black are bags bags are already there all black are bags so black should come inside this all black are bags all right so that's the basic diagram for the given set of statements right three statements all the three statements have been uh represented in terms of a venn diagram i'll i'll quickly repeat uh, the diagram here remember the statements are not given in the right sequence so you have to be a little careful when you're drawing the diagram right don't get confused we have all blue are brown then all black are bags and then some brown are not bags so when you first draw all blue are brown all blue are brown and then go to the second statement you will not be able to connect it with the first one because there is no connector see what do you mean by connector a common word between the two statements right in the first statement we have blue and brown in the second statement we have black and bags nothing is common so you will not be able to connect the first second one with the first one right but then you can connect the first one with the third one easily because the common uh, item there is brown all blue are brown some brown are not bags so that's why we have drawn all blue are brown then some brown are not bags we are referring to the exterior region some brown are not bags and finally you take the last part which is the second statement all black are bags all the black are inside bags so that's the basic diagram now look at the conclusions remember the fundamental rule the classical laws to be followed when you are solving questions from syllogisms if a conclusion if a definite conclusion does not follow the basic diagram if a definite conclusion does not follow the basic diagram it is false if a definite conclusion follows the basic diagram then you cannot take it as true then you have to verify the other possible diagrams for you to consider it to be true okay So assuming that all of you are aware of the basics here let's look at the conclusions the first conclusion some brown are not black some brown are not black some brown are not black now we are referring to some brown are not black brown is here and the black is here if you look at the basic diagram yes some brown are not black these outside brown are not black right some brown are not black we are referring to the outside brown i mean i i can choose any part of brown and say brown are not black because brown and black do not overlap at all brown and black do not overlap at all so remember a lot of you will get confused or at least some of you will get confused right those who are freshers will get confused with the first conclusion because the first conclusion says some brown are not black when you look at the diagram you will find that all the browns are not black i mean no brown is black but that doesn't matter no brown is not no brown is black or all browns are not black we don't care about it what we just look at it is some brown are not black are some of the browns not black or not you are getting it i can choose some part of brown and say yes these browns are not black i can say this region is not black this brown is not black this brown is not black this brown is not black so i can say some brown are not black you are able to follow so don't don't immediately say that first conclusion is false because all the browns are not black 
and the given conclusion is some brown or not black. You're able to follow. You're able to follow. Don't don't go in that direction there. So some brown or not black follows the basic diagram. It follows the basic diagram. Will it always follow or not is a question now. It follows the basic diagram, but will it always follow is the question. Right? Basic diagram, it, it is follows. It follows. Now, just because it follows the basic diagram does not mean that you will take it as true. You have to be 100% sure. And what do you mean by 100% sure? Being 100% sure, you have to check all the possible diagrams. You have to check all the possible diagrams. Right? Now, how do we do that? Do you really want to draw all the possible diagrams? No. There can be multiple diagrams. There, there can be 4, 5, 10, 15, 16, 20 different types of uh, possible diagrams. So, do you really want to check all the possible diagrams? No. Try to check it logically, right? Try to do a smart method. Try to follow a smart method. So what can be done? I'll explain you. Some brown are not black. For this conclusion to be false, what conclusion should be true? All brown are black should be true. Are you able to follow? For this conclusion to be false, for some brown are not black to be false, all browns are black has to be true. If all browns are black is possible, then some brown are not black is not possible. You understand? I am giving you a technique here, a smart way of you know, verifying such conclusions. Now the point is complement repairs. Refer to complement repairs. You know what complement repairs are? right? We, we know that there are two types of complement repairs. We have discussed this in our syllogism videos as right complement repair complement repairs right there are two types what is the first pair uh, some a's are b's and no a's b these are the two complement this is the first complement repair some a's are b's and no a's b no a's b the second complement repair is all a's are b's and some A's are not B's. Very important for those who have already watched the syllogism video a couple of times, right? Freshers may still not be able to follow this concept. You have to go back and watch the syllogism video. But those who have gone through the video, they should know about complement repairs. And, and using complement repairs in such kind of cases will really help you a lot. It will be very easy to verify the conclusions. Now, what are we trying to say? You know what is the meaning of a complement repair, right? Complement repair, the easiest way to understand a complement repair is like head and tail. Head and tail is a complement repair. Now, what does it mean? When you toss a coin, if it is heads, it's not tails. If it is tails, then it's not heads. Or for it to be heads, it should not be tails. For it to be tails, it should not be heads. You getting it? Any one of them, any one of them can be true. Both of them cannot be true. That's a complement repair. Any one of them can be true. Both of them can never be true together. Can head and tail come together? No. Now don't say the coin is standing and all that crap. Huh? Head and tail cannot exist together. So something, two things which can never exist together becomes a complement repair. I mean, it's like, it's like win and lose, right? Assuming that a competition has got no draw. You, you either win or you lose. Now win and lose in a match is like a complement repair. Let's say there is a match between India and Pakistan. If India has won the match, it's obvious that Pakistan has lost it. If India has lost the match, then it's very clear that Pakistan has won it. So winning and losing is like a complement repair. I mean, draw can exist in a match, but assuming that draw is not a possibility. Right? I mean, draw is not there. It's not allowed. There has to be a conclusion. There has to be a decision. Right? In that case, it, it becomes a complement repair. Right? Win and lose becomes a complement repair. Or, or for that matter, gender. Right? I mean, don't go to the third gender now, which is brought into picture recently by Indian laws as well. But assuming there are only two genders, male and female, let's say baby is born. It's either a male or a female, right? So suppose the doctor says it's not a boy. It's not a boy means what? It is a girl. It's not a girl it means it's a boy. Now the point to be understood it for it for for it for the baby not to be a boy, it has to be girl for a baby not to be a girl. It has to be a boy. Right? For the result not to be a heads, it has to be tails. For a result not to be a tails, it has to be heads. Right? For girl to be false, boy has to be true. For boy to be false, girl has to be true. For heads to be false, tails has to be true. And if tail is true, then heads is false. 
you getting it for tails to be false head has to be true so if head can exist then tail cannot exist that's the point so apply the same logic here some brown are not black this is a some not type of statement right it is a some not type of statement some not what is the complementary for some not complementary for some not is all a's are b's for some a's are not b's the complementary is all a's are b's for some a's are not b's the complementary is all a's are b's so for some browns are not black to be true all a's are b's has to be false all a's are b's has to be false for some brown are not black to be true all a's are b's has to be false or the other way around for some a's are not b's to be false all a's are b's has to be true all a's are b's has to be true now it is always a little difficult to verify a some not type of statement so what i would do is do the converse let's verify all a's are b's you getting it instead of verifying some brown are not black verify all brown are black the complementary for this is what what is the complementary for this all brown all brown are black all browns are black all brown are black now what am i trying to verify i have already concluded that some brown are not black satisfies the basic diagram right i can choose some brown and say these are not black right these browns are not black these browns are not black these browns are not black you can choose some of the browns and say these are not black right now i'm trying to verify the possible diagrams instead of verifying this in the possible diagram let's verify all brown or black in the possible diagram so what i'm trying to check is is it possible that all the brown are black is it possible all brown are black what happens what happens if all browns are black if you take all the browns inside black try and envisage that try and try and imagine that right don't have to draw the diagram for it if you try to take all the brown inside black what happens all the brown goes inside black if all the brown go inside black all the browns are also going inside bags yes or no if you want to take this big circle inside this black with that blues will also go inside black but then the point to be noted is browns will completely come inside bags brown will completely come inside bags which means all the browns will become bags if all the browns become black if all the browns become black if all the browns become black all the browns will also become bags but the statement very clearly says that some brown are not bags see this is definitely true what is given in the statement is definitely true it's like patthar ki lakhi right statement mein jo bhi diya gaya it is always true so if some browns are not bags is given in the statement it has to be true there is no debate on that there is no second thought on that but by taking all the brown inside black i am you know making sure that all the browns are becoming bags and the moment all the browns become bags i am violating this statement which statement some brown are not bags which means i cannot do that what can be done what cannot be done all browns are back cannot be done which means this is false and if this is false this has to be true reverse engineering what we have done is reverse engineering i am not very convenient it's not very convenient for me to verify the first conclusion so i'm taking the converse of it and trying to verify right he is saying is it heads or not for me to verify heads is difficult i am checking is it tails or not i have come to know that it cannot be tails if it cannot be tails it has to be heads you are able to follow for all the brown to be black what happens if you take all the brown inside black you are taking all the browns inside bags but all the browns cannot be taken inside bags because there has to be some brown which are not bags the moment i take all the browns inside bag i go against the statement which is not allowed which means this is not allowed if this is not allowed this is allowed so conclusion number 1 is true conclusion number 1 is true now check conclusion 2 now check conclusion 2 no blue is a bag no blue is a bag now no blue is a bag satisfy the basic diagram i can clear all this marking that we had done for the previous verification all this these are all those browns that we had chosen you remember yeah now oh i have cleared that circle there sorry right so this is a diagram basic diagram now the conclusion here is no blue is a bag no blue is a bag satisfies the basic diagram no blue is a bag satisfies the basic diagram right blue and bag do not touch at all right blues and bags do not touch at all so no blue is a bag is true according to the basic diagram but will it always be true you have to verify how do you verify using a possible diagram and just by looking at the diagram i can say this is going to be false number 2 is going to be false how let me draw a possible diagram i'll i'll, I'll show it to you see look at this statement uh which one all blue or brown let's take the first statement itself all blue or brown we have drawn all blue or brown in this way what if i increase the size of blue if i draw blue in this way one blue is in purple the other blue is in blue i mean don't get confused because the words used here colors only but 
you know this is one blue this is the other blue so is the basic blue the purple blue is the basic blue the blue blue is the possible blue sounds confusing but yeah you know there are two types of blues here this is blue one and this is blue two let's say so the blue one is the basic blue second blue is the possible blue now the have i violated any of the condition in drawing the possible blue no because the statement said all blue are brown here also all the blue are brown i have not gone against any of the conditions but then i find that blues and bags are overlapping in this case which means no blue is a bag though it satisfies the basic diagram it fails in the possible diagram no blue is a bag fails in the possible diagram and if it fails in the possible diagram it should be taken as false right so our conclusion for the given question is that our answer for the given question is only conclusion one is true only conclusion one is true or only conclusion one follows conclusion two does not follow okay options are given right if only conclusion one follows option one is the correct answer